If you're using a smartphone, desktop, or laptop that was made recently, YouTube is pretty easy. You uh, open the app or go to the website, click on a video, it starts playing, and congratulations, you've watched a YouTube video. The process for watching YouTube on a Pentium 2 takes about three or four times the length of the video, plus some extra time. You need two operating systems, Windows 98 and Linux. The downloading and converting procedure takes place on Linux, and Windows 98 has the best performance for playing video. I did use another PC to set up this computer, but once everything's done, you can do everything from the Pentium 2 computer. We start out on Linux using the Lynx 2 web browser in graphical mode, and you can visit youtube.com without any CSS or JavaScript. The search features still work, and I'm going to be searching for a simple cat video licensed under the Creative Commons. We use YouTube DL hyphen capital F and the video URL in the terminal. If you're okay with watching a video in 144p, you can watch that directly on Linux, but to me that doesn't really seem worth the effort. What we're looking for is a 480p version, and also the audio track that goes along with the video. I did test 720p, but it would drop frames like crazy, and anything 480p and below will play fine after you convert the video. For this example, I'm going to use the format number 135 for the video, and 251 for the audio. We have to run YouTube DL hyphen lowercase f then the format number for both the video and the audio separately. It takes a little while for YouTube DL to start. It adds a little bit of wait time. After they're done downloading, we'll use a tool called FFmpeg to convert and join the audio and video. We run FFmpeg hyphen i the name of the video file hyphen i the name of the audio file we set the encoder to XBID, the audio bitrate to 128K, set the Q scale to 2, and name the output file .avi. After you run the command, FFmpeg will tell you the speed of conversion relative to the time of the video. It looks like this is going to take a while. But the good news is that you can do other things while this is converting. Like you can listen to music, you can browse the internet and links too. But uh, just be aware that anything that you do will affect the speed of the conversion. The final step within Linux is to copy the converted video to the Windows 98 partition. We run sudo mount dev sda1 then copy the completed file to the Windows 98 partition. Now we can reboot and select Windows 98 from the Grub menu. I'm using the K-Lite codec pack, which installs Media Player Classic. It's recommended that you install DirectX 9 before installing the codec pack. The limiting factor here is the software. I'm sure there's someone out there who knows a better way of doing this, but YouTube is probably not going to serve out MPEG-4 video anytime soon. If there are fast action scenes or explosions or a lot going on screen, you can experiment with different Q scale values or bump the quality to 360p.